This is Life Talk, where we tell it like it is. Life Talk is motivational, helping you get to the next level in life. Life Talk is educational to broaden your knowledge. Life Talk is inspirational to get you fine-tuned to start doing what you love doing. Life Talk, sponsored by KMAREducation.org. And here is your host, Marietta Kammerer. Yes. Hello and welcome to Life Talk with Marietta. I am Marietta and thank you for being with us tonight. Well, get in the game. Fail your way to success. The time is now, not tomorrow, to stand up for yourself and go after what you want in life. Get a purpose and yes, I can do it attitude. And if you don't know your purpose yet, goals or direction, you will have it by reaching out and working with one of us. Invest in yourself. So, everyone... Every one of us has talents, and uh, some are ready to uh, make an income with it, and some would like to, but don't know how, or don't have the belief that they're good enough. Those are the people we want to help, and let me tell you a little bit about our uh, co-host and other professionals tonight. Let me start with our co-host Jesse Mester. He is a degreed expert in mind-body psychology, an entrepreneur, owner of MesterPT.com, a personal fitness company in Amsterdam, the Netherlands. Uh, he has also a coffee company, CafeMester.com, shipping worldwide. He's an actor, model, a mentor, and life coach. He has the sign Sagittarius, December 21st, high purpose, creative, and ambitious, and lots more. Welcome, Jesse. How are you? Hello, yeah, I'm doing well. It's still 15 a.m. and I'm super excited to be live uh, in uh, Connecticut. And uh, I think we have some exciting news to share because next month I'll actually be there physically. Yes, we're looking forward to that, uh, Jesse. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank you. Our next person I would like you to meet is Norma Giantazio. Also very ambitious. She is the founder of the Vision Salon in Milford, Connecticut, a business owner and image consultant for 30 years, a mentor and life coach, signed Cancer, July 1. So adventurous, determined, loyal, and able to emphasize with others uh, when they are in pain and suffering and more. So welcome, Norma, to the program. Thank you, Marietta. Thank you for having me. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. And, of course, about Marietta. She's also ambitious. Uh, radio producer and host of Life Talk with Marietta. Director of Kess Educational Services. Putting people's skills and talents to work. A mentor and life coach. Sign Capricorn hardworking personality, determination, will do whatever it takes to get the job done, deeply intuitive, and more. Now, I want our audience to know, I'm not into um, astrology, astrology <laughs> and nor do I understand that it. Sound like it. Nor do I understand it, because I only read what I want to pick out of the, the, the horoscopes, but I do read it. So, And we are professionals highly motivated to give you our knowledge off air so you can be on your life path where you want to be. Jesse, Norma, or myself will work with you via telephone, Skype, or in person. <laughs> and if you take yourself serious, we can have a wonderful relationship. Make the investment in self and contact us. We will give the, the contact information later in the program. Uh, my good friend, uh, Dr. Rich, how are you? Fine, Marietta. Thank you so much for having me on the show. Thank you. Appreciate it. So, um, let's go. Let, let's. Let, we're ready. And I know from Jesse, um, he. I learned that actually from him. Confronting yourself. Uh, and I like. <laughs> I like to get your input on that, uh, Jesse. I'm going to move you just a little closer to my bosom. <laughs> oh my God! This is radio wow. for God's sake. That doesn't matter after tonight. Boy, cameras. we're, we're going to have a little cocktail. Oh, what? Exactly. It's, it's snowy now, so we gotta we gotta stay warm, right? That's right. Um, <laughs> well, you're gonna be warm, all right. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> you either have a balcony or you don't. You know? <laughs> am, am I on the right show, Emery? <laughs> well, it got a little crazy. What do you expect? <laughs> but confronting self, I learned that oh, from you, God. and right. you know we have. Go ahead. So, so yeah, this is a, this is a great topic. Um, 
and it, it's it's uh, all about like uh, willing uh, you know firstly to start and confront your own self like are you dealing with certain things that are uh, not you know helping you whether it's achieving your goals or whether it's you know having personal interactions whether it's your spouse or anyone really if you feel there's obstructions or you feel that you are you know having a depressed feeling um, you really gotta you know be reflective on what's the inner work the inner engineering if you will and I like to call it about what's really going on why am I feeling this way what is going on in, in, in my life right now or is it just a vase face that I'm that I'm dealing with um, I think these questions are really important for you to ask yourself when you are talking about confronting yourself uh, and a lot of people are not that self-aware or willing to do that and they're in a denial um, so yeah it, it starts with the why what is you know questioning yourself really now Thank you, Jesse, for that. And I'd like to, in, what sticks in my mind, depression. When I was younger, I'm talking about 30 years younger, uh, I, didn't, I didn't know about the word depression. But depression is ageless. It can be... Anytime. 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 So what I'd like to do at this point, I'd like to bring Norma in. And yeah, I know she's very depressed. <laughs> <laughs> at least you work with people on a daily I basis do. in I your do. salon. Yeah, and absolutely. You take care of personal image, the hair, the makeup, the skin, the teeth, and somebody who's who's de- stuck for a long time. Um, they don't even look at their, themselves. They don't even look at in the mirror. Well, they, they don't, don't want to do don't that. They don't really see what I see. Right. Um, so talk right, a little bit exactly. about that. They'll sit in my chair and we'll discuss their hair or their color. And all of a sudden they start to tell me all the things that's wrong about them. Uh, I don't like my skin. I don't like my eyes. I have a little blemish over I don't like my husband. My I don't like my husband. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Yeah, yeah, because absolutely. you, you're, you're um... absolutely. So you really try to work on the outside of them, but at the same time, I listen. Part of it is listening, and they're usually telling you something about their life by the end of the visit, something personal. And if you could just get them to talk, it's okay to ask for help. Because as you said, a lot of people don't realize they even need it. They don't even know they're depressed. They're just so used to feeling that way and they sit yes. in the chair and I try to make them feel better by the time they leave. That's my goal, not to just look better, but to feel better. If she, if, even if she's only laughed for the half hour, an hour and a half she's been with me, it's a plus because maybe she's gone home and felt better about herself. She looks in the mirror now and sees what I see. A lovely woman, regardless of her age, regardless of her weight. Yes. She doesn't have to have a perfect body. She doesn't have to have a perfect face, but your happiness comes from Mm -hmm. way deep inside, and you have to be happy, whether you're alone in life or you have a wonderful partner. You still have to be happy within yourself. And if you look better, You'll feel better. Yes, you do, and Absol- it starts with a with Absolutely. a haircut and Absolutely. a different color. Absolutely, and um, any little thing can make the biggest difference. Yes, we go to the doctors all the time for medication and pills and medicine, and yes, it's money that really it doesn't make us feel better when but we leave. You know what? Also, I feel and uh, Jesse. Um, I, th- I know you have the key to people. I just know it. I knew that the very first time. You do too, Norma. Yes. I, and I, yes. Do, I do want to respond to, to, to you saying I have the key because I, I do not have the key. Matter of fact, I say to you and everyone listening right now, do not believe in anyone, including me. You have to find your own insight and then follow it. Mm-hmm. Wherever it leads you is the right path for you. Uh- Whether anybody else is following that path or not is not the question. Each individual is unique, and each individual life has beauty in its uniqueness. Mm-hmm. I've, I've seen that um, written on your Instagram uh, pages. I agree with you, but what I'm talking about, what I mean, is mm-hmm. you still have to be activated. Activated, and there are certain people that you meet in, in life. And they have a certain, they have a, I, I just call it symbolically a key. You can call it someplace else, something else, but I don't know. It could be a awareness. gift. We're spreading awareness. Yeah, yeah. He has a gift. Right? A gift. I'm a fan, a gift. by the way, oh, Jess. You're, yeah. oh, yeah. you're with fans here. You're I have a. Fa- with, I'm a fan. You're, I'm a groupie. You're fans here. I'm a groupie. Yeah, That's yeah, right. Fancy fans. So, but oh, not, hello, guys. Not, hello, not, hello, not everybody has yeah. that. 
That's all I'm saying. Where okay. somebody can preach this all their life and nobody listens. You get the key is to get people to listen. That's yeah. the key, and you yeah. have that too. And I like to believe that I have it too. <clears throat> you you do. know, you do. Uh, yeah. thank you yeah. because you know. Absolutely. Oh, you do. You do. Thank you, Jesse. I get very little compliments, so this all me. No, this means very, very much to me. You know, it really does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, absolutely. And that's, I think, you know, why your program Life Talk is so successful because it's such an open platform to really discuss all these topics and, and reach people in that sense. Yeah. So, so no, thank you for what you're doing. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Um, um, now, with the hair and makeup and teeth, that's a full time job to always look good, uh, Norma. Same with a woman with the, when she's a little fuller to put a girdle to put the right bra on um, mm -hmm. and everything. So, um, what can people expect now? Your your salon is in Milford. Mm -hmm. You've been around for forty years, yes. thirty years in that yes. salon. Yes. You're Since, seasoned. Yeah. And you're also a baby boomer, and you look fantastic. Fantastic. You don't you. look your age. Thank you. So everybody I that, that you're welcome, <laughs> and everybody who has um, had some ups and downs uh, with depression, and I have too, mm -hmm. depending on what foods I eat and so forth and whatever. Well, it's life. It's life. It's life. It's yeah. part when of you're life. depressed, you have more That's downs than you have. Ups. Rich gets yeah. a call from me every day. Sure. Like, Guess what happened, Rich? <laughs> yeah, what happened, Mariat? He calls me Liebchen all the time. Liebchen, you know? my Liebchen. My Liebchen, right. Sometimes you're an emotional leader, too. People, I yes. am. Yes. I'm an emotional leader. Yeah. So. so you take care of the people. That is it. The salon is ready. Um, right. We have a big range of uh, ages and a staff. Uh, I'm the oldest one in the staff. Uh, the mature lady in the staff, but I have a lot of girls in their 50s and a young girl in their 30s. So we have we can accommodate any age, and everybody's very qualified. But we're we're really a family team. We really we're a family. Very we casual place. Very casual. Extremely casual. You might come in and hear a few jokes along the way, but it's it's all it's all in fun, and we just try to. It's make real. It's, it's a real, real place where Absolutely. you really get help, Absolutely. not just with the color and no, the no, cut no. And, and everything. No, no, no. Yeah. Well, they listen. They listen that's, to people, that's and that's the key. key. That's yeah. the key. That's that's exactly yeah. what I want. And they're to sincere. Say. They really do care, care about care. who comes in. And sits in their chair. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Rich, Rich. for saying that. Yeah, appreciate that. Um, I want to move over to uh, career expansion. So uh, somebody has worked for 10 years and um, just wants to move on. Um, they need new experiences, Jesse. I want to bring you back into the conversation. So in order to get new experiences, what would you suggest? What would your um, suggestion be to them? What, what, with new experiences? Yeah, in other words, they certainly need to um, um, learn new skills when they change careers. Um, and especially, well, um, yeah? yeah, well, you know, like um, when you want a new, like whether it's learning new skills or like we discussed uh, earlier, whether it's, uh, you know, being responsible for uh, what you do and how you feel, I think that's really the core of, of you know, what we're talking about. Um, and also, you know, that, that's a little bit more complicated with depression. Depression is a very sensitive subject. Uh, but, but let's say, let, let, let's make it general as far as feelings. You know, um, you have to understand that you are, and so do you, are responsible for your feelings. And that no one can make you feel anything, right? People are saying, oh, I had a bad day at school or at work, and now I'm depressed. You know, but yes, your energy is depressed right let, let, let's like it can also be expressed like you had a good experience at work so you feel yeah, expressive you're in a good mood but we have to understand that like clinical depression is, is something totally yeah, like different right we have to diagnose so there needs to be severe treatment but uh, like separate from that your feelings during the day you are responsible for them and nobody should make should be able to make you feel sad angry or offended and those are really all things you choose to feel. And when you have a feeling, I think a lot of people are blaming also someone else. Oh, you made me feel that way. Or because this happened, now I'm feeling like this. Or there's snow in Connecticut. So yeah, it's, it's, it's like, it's horrible and it's shitty. Instead of, you know, trying to look how beautiful it is and be in the moment and only, only that there is snow and, you know, 
Evolve or, or or whatever, you know, do something. But that's cultural, thing. Jesse. Yeah. That's cultural. So people have to want themselves first, and that means being willing to see and own up to parts of themselves that are not serving them. And not everyone is ready for this introspection, but it's really up to you to make that choice at some point. Yeah. Um, at this point, I'd like to bring in uh, a very young talent. He's not that young, but he's a young talent. Uh, JC. His, he looks young. He, yeah, he looks his, awfully his young. name is Joey Gian, Giannatazio, and he's actually uh, Norma's hey, 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 hey. son. Now, I know you were dying to say something to Jesse about the depression. Go ahead. Uh, can no, you move, uh, can no, you move, no, no, can you move almost, up? To, almost finished. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, no, I actually want to say a few things uh, concerning um, the beginning of the conversation with my mother. Uh, growing up in um, Hairsons, basically uh, as a young child, um, you know, these women would walk in, men walk in with, uh, you know, uh, frowns on their face and uh, they walk away with smiles. Um, you know, I think it's a, a part of... Uh, being a hairdresser that Is that um, because your mom painted a smile on them? <laughs> <laughs> She's a very fun woman, I can tell that. You just threw him off track. Go ahead, Joey. Yeah. No, it's okay. I mean, uh, you know, it's... Um, you know, all it takes is a special moment, uh, something nice to say to someone to uh, change their attitude um to One change word. their thought in life yes a, 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 a pivotal Normal. moment so it's doing good. it's happened to I me tried. quite a few times yes it's you know and it helps me uh sometimes have an epiphany about myself so sometimes people will say to me or even my son has said to me many times um i had a uh, jesse just said that have a bad day i always feel like if i go into work and i'm the first one to say good morning hey how is everybody with a Aww. smile it sort of sets the tone in the shop for the rest of the day if i came in I miserable or i came in with a chip on my shoulder or i had a fight with a boyfriend or a husband and i carried that into the salon it would affect everyone else that works around me i know it would because we work side by side oh, we work so closely together you stroke, you stroke very well. Yeah, and so I like that. Yeah, everybody we, needs we to We really be stroked, gel, and you know? it's and it, I really yeah, try to come in with that <laughs> that, yeah. that attitude that if I I I'm the one that has to start it, I have to motivate it. And if somebody comes in in my salon is upset, one of the workers, I try to bring him in the back room, give him a hug. Maybe that's all they need. Maybe that's all they needed was a I hug. Love that. Yeah, um, I wanna, uh, you know what? You know what? I want to visit your store right now like you know i have such a good feeling listening to you like i don't care what you sell but just by listening to you he's I gonna buy like, something. i love her like, i love her. Norma. that's the effect you have on people how amazing is that yeah thank you jesse Thank that touches, you. Appreciate that, that touches my heart. It really does because I love Norma too. I really do. So, uh, Mr. Producer, uh, Mr. Um, Producer, are we going for a break? Just a couple of uh, minutes. Jesse, hold on. We're not touching anything. So we'll just go for a break and we come right back. So don't go anywhere. Don't touch that dust. We're back from our break. And yes, get in the game. Fill your way to success. If you're on the couch or chair, we are asking you to get up and start the movement with us. Uh, tonight's co-host, get in the game, is Jesse Mester joining us from Amsterdam, the Netherlands. Because there is an Amsterdam in New York. So I just want to. That's yes. right. So um, it is two thirty, two forty-five uh, in the morning there. So Jesse, thank you for joining us tonight. Yeah, thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. I love you guys, and I'm you know I love Connecticut. I love we love you, Jesse. <laughs> I love everything about Connecticut. Yes, we do. We so, really do. Uh, yeah. We we really do. Yeah. It, yeah. I know. Great yeah, and of course my my good friend Norma Gian. Giannatasio. Giannatasio. It, it, it sounds really. I again, Mary. Uh, my good friend, Dr. Rich. And now I'd like Ooh. to bring in uh, a young artist. His name is uh, JC. But JG. J okay, thank you. <laughs> Joey Giannatasio. Yes, so, Giannatasio. Yeah. Hey. All right. Joey. Hey. 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 Joey. I'm rooting for So. Uh, he is a family man. Joey has a very deep love for poetry since childhood. Never wanted to go public with it. 
until he met Marietta. <laughs> hey, hey. I sent everybody he to was Hollywood. Sensitive. No, I was waiting for you, Marietta. <laughs> uh, you were. You were next to her bosom too now. <laughs> so much. And of course, when I heard that, and I said, Joey, um, I can see an avenue uh, for you uh, in commercials because. Uh, you get the unique selling point of a business, and you s just start working on it. Uh, and I really like that. And I work with businesses, and I position them and everything. So I have an ear for that and a, and a mind. And there is, it's it's not that everybody will like it, but businesses, they love to stand out. Right, Jesse? Jesse? Oh, yes, absolutely. You, yeah. know? No, I, I, you know, I try to listen to it on the phone. Uh, but it, it sounded great, man. Um, I love what you do. Thank you, Jesse. I, I appreciate to, uh, that. You know, uh, look you up once uh, you know uh, we're finished. Um, but I like it. I like the. I like your style. It's very unique and very refreshing. Thank you. I appreciate that, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> now. Um uh, and I asked Joey. Questions you wanted to talk about? Them. Yes, yes, yes. Sir. Thank you very, very much. So uh, let's get back to the. Oh, oh, what was the? Um, the question I wanted to ask you. Asking questions uh, is the topic. How to present yourself. I just had to move my papers. Uh, how to present yourself. Next um, to her bosom. And that is always when you go for <laughs> new jobs, you got to know how to present yourself. That's why you get, you get in the game and you take care of the outside. Now the inside comes. That's where Jesse comes in. What would you like yeah, to see um, people that um, are going for new no, I, careers? I, I, I love this so much, uh, Mariette, and I think you know people uh, listening and you guys can can relate. Not many people are are good listeners, and we talked a little bit uh, about this during the commercial break about how do you ask the right questions, how do you ask questions really? But being a listener really means that you are asking questions. And um, not many people do that. And you know, me as, as a therapist, I like I, I ask questions for a living, right? So for me, it comes like kind of natural at this point. But you know, we we grow and we learn by listening. And um, asking the right questions means that we can understand. And um, most importantly. You can also, you know, get to the underlying feelings and wants uh, and, and, and implicit messages uh, that you normally don't really understand uh, if you don't keep asking or paraphrasing the questions. And it brings many benefits um, to it as well. Don't you feel, Jesse, that sometimes people just uh, want a sounding board and someone to talk to? They don't necessarily want the answers right away, but they just feel even better if you're just listening to the problem. Good point. Exactly. And by, by listening, let's say if you and I are talking and you express your story or whatever you're dealing with, like by me just listening and I wouldn't ask a question, I'm not really listening because by questioning while listening, I get to really understand your implicit message. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, I need to paraphrase what you're saying and ask the right questions to really understand and listen to you. Right. If I'm just staring at you and I'm, you know, trying to listen or giving you the impression that I'm listening, I'm not really listening. No, right. I it, need to ask you questions to really get to Yeah, you have to get to the root of the problem. And that yeah, doesn't exactly. come easily for a lot of people. Exactly. So, uh, Norma, you're right. I, a lot of people just like to... Talk about Talk things. Talk about things. Yes. They don't necessarily no. need an answer. Right. Some They're working out the answer in their own absolutely. mind. Yeah. They're trying and to figure they, it out. And they that you're just being there they just listening. Want to share it maybe. Helps them to figure out that problem yeah. a lot of times. Yeah. Uh, what I do want to get in in tonight's <clears throat> program, asking for what you want in life, speaking up for self, becoming fluent in asking. That's where a lot of people have problems with. You know, whether they're younger or a little older, they just they just don't. Um, you know, they they're afraid to ask. In the bedroom. They they're rich. You're throwing me off track now. Sorry. <laughs> no, uh, asking for what you want in life. A lot of people associate that with begging, 
I don't believe that at all. Because yeah. asking is an art. Well, and believing too, because when you at prior to asking, you got to really prepare your mind, mm -hmm. uh, because you only have one shot at it, and you got to really listen to your inner self if well, you're if in you, sync. If you never ask, you never get. Yeah. And the worst thing that could happen is you get a no. So you just right, but it's it, the preparation, yeah. uh, Jesse. You might want to mm -hmm. um, jump into this. The preparation uh, is to really think about what you're going to ask, believe it, and then mm -hmm. do it. Because sometimes I, we all have off days. And I just have to ask myself, well, can I? No, I can't do it today. I couldn't even give away a stick of butter. We all have these weekdays, absolutely. right, Jesse? Yeah, no, absolutely. And and again, it's it's really to understand each other better. You know, by asking questions, you become a better listener. You know, uh, how was the... Uh, let, let me give you an example. Let me make it practical because we can talk about it. But let me give you an example. Like, you you tell me how your day was and let me ask you how uh, you make something specific uh i went to the restaurant and uh you know i met this and this person and had some talks and then i'm like okay that's very global and i'm like how was this for you you know and then you're like oh uh and then you explain how it was and what do you appreciate about it what bothers you or worries you about this and that and that's really with these questions this is how you become a good listener, an active listener, and you do this by asking the right questions. So whatever interaction you have in life, whether that's with your mom or your parents, it doesn't matter. It's so important to keep asking. And like you said, Mariette, you're so right. Even if you have bad days, it's so important to keep doing it because only then you can really understand each other. Yeah. Explicitly and implicitly. Thank you. Um, those those off days we all have, um, asking, really, do I feel, how do I feel today? And sometimes I don't get an answer right away, but as soon as I get on the phone to call somebody for just something, you know, regular thing, whatever, has nothing to do with business, I can tell how I feel because the other one answers. And I said, boy, are they in a... In a, in a, in a um, bad mood. Bad mood. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really me. Yeah. It's me. It's true. You know, it's, it's like a, they're reflecting <laughs> what I feel. And I hadn't even, I didn't even catch that yet because I haven't talked to anybody yet in the morning. Right? I said, holy moji. You have to you hear know? yourself talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, um, but but feeling comfortable with asking. I'm a big asker. Mm -hmm. And uh, I learned that in life. And especially when I was a finance broker for 18 years. I, um, you know, every day were different people. And I had to, mm -hmm. I was I was a very bad listener when I, in my accounting days. Mm -hmm. um, because I was an employee, I got a paycheck on Friday. But when I became a finance broker... I had to really learn to listen to the spoken word. And I had a mentor, a lady, and she uh, scolded me. She said, didn't you hear that after the appointment? She talked. I said, no, I didn't hear them. I daydreamed. You weren't listening. I wasn't listening. Yeah. And boy, I hate to be scolded. I can't stand yeah. it. I may do one mistake, <laughs> yeah. uh, but I won't do the same mistake again. So that was my, my piv pivotal moment, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So, and then... Being, uh, I stayed in that career for 18 years, and then um, you became so good at it because I think about everything. I think about the spoken word um, and analyze. I do a lot of yeah. a lot of analyzing too. You too, right, uh, well, Jesse? It's an art. Yes. Asking questions is an art itself. You're so right. What you're saying. But right? there's a level of intimacy that you can ask certain questions depending on that level exactly. of intimacy. Wow, I didn't it depends need... from culture yeah. to culture. Like, I know <laughs> to some people, I, I cannot come across direct, right? Mm -hmm. But um, I know there, that, that's, that can be a cultural difference, even from state to state. Like, I experience a different vibe in North Carolina than I experience in, in New York. Um, true, very you know, true. Where people are more cutthroat and, and you <laughs> know... <laughs> they just they speak the truth. So it's I like New York. And, and then, <laughs> who doesn't? <laughs> yes, uh, and I just lost my train of thought. So Norma, it's you. You handle it. Okay. Well, I was going to say the same thing as Jesse. That I think that a lot of times. Um, 
people will be like the bobblehead. You're talking to them and they're nodding and you're talking some more and they're nodding. And really what you want is input. You want something Excellent. back. We want something back. We want some information that comes back to us, right or wrong, good or bad. We want input. We don't get it from some people. We get that bobblehead or that stare. And you, you just, you know, if, if I encounter that, I find myself, I'm lost in conversation. I'm, I'm like absolutely thrown. I'm like, I don't know what to do because I'm so, I so want you to respond to me. I so mm -hmm. want you to be in my space and be there with me. And I, if I don't get it, I just don't know how to react to it anymore because I'm so used to being with people and talking to people and interacting with people that when I don't interact with somebody, I don't know how to handle it. Right. Um, I still had some, I wanted to say something, but I, I lost, I lost that uh, thought for a moment. But I know what you're saying with the input. Many times when I talk to people, I always th say, think, at least I think it, that I'm, I'm, I, I'm clear. And people nod, and I say, oh, boy, they really understand me. They do. Oh, how finally you found a soul that understands me. So, um, and then they don't, have, they don't have the slightest idea what I said. Clue. They don't have a clue. But they don't ask. But they, they don't, don't ask. ask. That's they, the problem. But that's yes. men and women. They don't. Oh, Rich. <laughs> no, we have three minutes left. Um, Rich just motioned. Jesse, we have three minutes left. So, Jesse, what would be the... Um, the word for the week. And I do want to mention, Jesse is coming to if Connecticut. You Wait a minute. Sorry, yeah. what did you say? I, I just want to announce very quickly that you are coming to the States and you are coming Absolutely. to Connecticut. Um, and I'm going to have probably, uh, I did a poll on my Instagram, uh, Jesse Meister, uh, Jesse Meister in, in American English. Uh, in Dutch we say Jesse Meister, but it, it's, I'm, I'm fine with everything. I'm also fine with Jesse. Um, so I will be having a meet and greet in New York City the 21st. Uh, and I will be, in four weeks from now, I will be in uh, Connecticut. Uh, but Mariette, you will follow up on that. And in closing about this topic with the questions, you know, if your intentions are good, it's really okay to ask questions. Usually people welcome them. You know, take confidence in your good intentions and good heart. And then you can ask the right questions. And by doing so, you will become a very good listener. Amen. Uh, Jesse, how, do, how, how can you be religious? <laughs> For people that want the help and they want it now, not yesterday, but they want it today, how can they reach you? Um, you, you can reach me at uh, meesterpt.com, uh, meester, in American English again, uh, M-E-E-S-T-E-R-P-T.com, uh, and there you have a contact form, feel free to reach out, and me or my team will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, yeah. And of course, I will be in the U.S. Right. And uh, Norma, how can people reach you? Well, the salon number is 203-874-8533 in Milford, Connecticut. And we do have a website, www. Uh, Visions the Hair Salon. It's ready to go? It, it, it launched? Visions of Milford, yes. Nobody told me? Oh, okay. Well, now I'm we kidding know. you. Now we know. <laughs> now we know. So that's great. It's ready. That, yeah. That's really great. Yeah. And Joey, how about you? Well, Joey. well, through you, Life Talk Radio. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, <laughs> I'm your manager. I'm your manager. <laughs> you That's all it. heard it, folks. You asked me if you want to be my... Does no, I said, percentage? I don't want to be your manager. <laughs> Mom, you're cut so out. But I believe in you. You're out. You're the out. same with Jesse. I love that Jesse. Quick. Did you hear that, Jesse? <laughs> I heard that. I Good. Heard that. I, I, you have to believe in a person. You got to be real, otherwise I couldn't do this. When are you going to have the ticker tape for this guy? What ticker tape? What the else? ticker tape parade. parade. Oh, I have to get back to you on that one. So anyway, so Joey, uh, through Life Talk, uh, Marietta, uh, you can you can be reached. So Dr. Rich, I want to thank you for being here thank uh, you. tonight. You're always a good friend. You always tell me, hey, it was great. It was not so good. Whatever. So I want to thank you. I want to thank our producer. Rich, thank you for your effort. Jesse, I can't thank you enough. Thanks, Jesse. For spending your time. And now I hope you have Jesse. a good sleep. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you, Jesse. Oh, sure Thanks, Jesse. Thank you kindly. You good night. Speak soon. Big hug. Thank you. Bye-bye. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss. 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 Tschüss.